All right, so today we're back with another new smart home product. Now, I did one of these videos before with a similar product, but it was only a Bluetooth one. And this one, they were nice enough to send me their smart multi-gateway, which this is specifically designed to work with this, their Matrix Smart Lockbox. So think of it as you own an Airbnb or something like that, and you need to leave a key in here so that your guests can get into the front door, and you want a way to be able to change that passcode every time somebody leaves if you want. With this device and that smart gateway I just showed you, you'd be able to open your phone from your app and from anywhere in the world, as long as you have internet access at your house, where this is, and on your phone, you'd be able to change that passcode. So you wouldn't have to be there, it wouldn't use Bluetooth, it would use actual Wi-Fi internet. All right, so let's open up our Link Style Matrix Smart Lockbox, our Lynx and our Link Style Smart Multimode Gateway. We'll start with the gateway. It's a little, it's a Bluetooth and Zigbee. Not really much to show you around the box, so we'll just open this on up. This basically gives your devices the ability to connect to the internet. So you have a little instruction manual here, and then, wow, very tiny. I like it. And then down here, we got an included micro USB cable to power it, and an included little power brick, and that's it for this box. So. This is it here. You uh, should essentially be able to just plug this into power right here, get it into sync mode, sync it with your phone, which will then sync it with the Wi-Fi, and then you're able to sync this to this, where this device can be controlled through this device and you connect to everything wirelessly. So now let's open up our lockbox. So link style, unlocking the Enchanted Life, just a link to download their app there. On the back, this is the model K5, link style matrix smart lock key box, has Bluetooth 5.0, IP65 certified. User capacity is 200 fingerprints, passwords, and cards. Wow. And then over here, fingerprint unlock, app remote control, key card unlock, passcode unlock, manual key. And uh, that's just a photo of it there. Nothing on the bottom. So let's put our seals back here. One, two, and take our top off. All right, so we have nice uh, user's manual. Love that. Warranty card, and then a little quick start guide for you. All right, then under this nice little bit of foam, it's everything else. So includes a little USB-C cable. Not certain if this, yeah, this is an emergency cable. So this cable is not for charging the internal battery. It's just an emergency use cable. We also got a set of batteries. So this one's not rechargeable at all. That's what the emergency cable's for. You'd be able to plug that into your phone, plug it into like a power bank and be able to use it for a short enough time to get into the device. Then, wow, they include three of these little key cards. Very nice. A normal set of keys. Love these like new design keys. Like keys were always so generic and these like slimmer ones are just cooler to me. And look at that little accessories kit. So you got a little screwdriver. You got some anchors and bolts so you could mount this to the wall if you wanted to. Very nice. That's your uh, main locking mechanism up top. And then, uh, that's it for that box. You have your actual smart locking box here. So it's not powered on, so that's why everything just opens right up. Down here is where your uh, fingerprint reader would be, as well as like your passcodes and stuff like that. And then you could pop these out to uh, use these screws to be able to mount this to the wall where it's permanently on the wall and always ready for you uh, to go. So it looks like your batteries go in here behind this. And uh, yeah, let's, I guess let's get this thing all set up. First, I'm gonna plug in the gateway, then we'll download their app, and uh, then I'll go through this process and put the batteries in because I wanna make sure I do everything in order. So let's get started on this. So this is the app you'd need. Download this app, create your account, log in. I'll show you what to do next. So this is the important stuff I should need while the app's installing. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this flutter two cable. Of course, plug this into here. Of course, plug this into power. And then just plug this into there. And there we go. Now we got a little red and blue light. So we'll set that there for now. All right, so we've made us an account. We are logged into the account now. First thing we're going to do, click our little add device button up here, click add device, and then it wants some permissions here. So we'll allow these while on the app, allow find nearby devices, which should have it find 
the gateway. Look at that, that was easy. Now we put in our Wi-Fi password, and now it's going through the process to give this device my Wi-Fi password, which I just typed in via the Bluetooth connection, and then this device, the gateway box, will be on my Wi-Fi so that it can talk to this and talk to this from wherever I'm at. I'll give this a moment to get added. There we go, gateway's added. I'm gonna rename it to Link Style Gateway, and select Done. All right, so now our gateway is online. Good job. Step one is complete. So now take our non-rechargeable AAA batteries here. Look at that, it's a free gift. All righty, now I've got my four batteries. Open this all back up here and use our included little screwdriver, which is in this pack to uh, get down into here. Now we can put our batteries in. Bingo. Device should be powered on now. Look at that, got a light. So I'll go ahead and screw this back in. So now it's actually locked. So we'd have to either go this way with the key or with that USB. We'd only use the USB if the batteries were dead. And right now, since it's in like test mode, Unlocked. it unlocks to any password. And you put your keys in and it relocks. So easy. So now we want to pair this with this so that way we can control it from our phone. So we're going to Unlocked. unlock this and use our little pin, press down this reset button. Please pair device. Now it said, please pair device. So now you should be able to come in here and click add device, add new device, and it should discover this automatically. Discovering nearby devices. We'll give it a moment to do its thing. Operation successful. There it went. So it's found the lockbox. We'll just click done. And I'm gonna rename this to lockbox. We'll leave it as K5 lockbox. Done, done, and there we go. Now we're in the lockbox. So now if I close this up, it's fully locked. Operation failed. And since it's connected to the app, it's not just opening with any fingerprint. So from the app, I can slide this to unlock it. Unlocked. Which unlocks it for us, nice and easy. Locked. But most importantly here, we can go down here and do member management. That's me, I'm the admin and I can easily add me a code. So I'm gonna make my code 1598. There we go, and save. Oh, it needs to be eight. So I'm gonna make my code 1345678. Click okay, and then click save. Wow, can't be six in a row, Jesus. So I'm gonna make my code 1346790101, and then save. There we go. And you just heard that operation successful. So now if I go back, we can add a fingerprint as well. So click add. Please enter fingerprint. And now I just. Please press again. Please press again. Please press again. Operation successful. There we go. Now it's added my fingerprint. I'll give it a time to circle over here and do its thing. Unlock. There we go. That worked. My fingerprint is working. I'm in the box now. Operation failed. Right thumb. Unlocked. Left thumb. It works perfectly. Now, the other thing, of course, Locked. I want to show this to you so you know. So I'm going to go into here, and you see this Wi-Fi? We're going to turn it off. Turn off Wi-Fi completely. You know what I'm also going to do for you? Bluetooth, turning it off. Bluetooth is off. So, kill my apps, device is locked. As you know, my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is off. I can open up the link style app though. And even though I'm on 4G LTE here, you can see it right there. I can select my lockbox, and I'd be able to change codes. I'd be able to do all this, but I can of course slide over unlocked. and it is unlocked through the internet. As you know, and as you can still see, my Bluetooth is off, my internet's off, I'm on LTE. So this definitely works and is super nice and easy to set up. And of course you do have the option if you want to, to register and use these Operation little failed. key tabs. You have to actually add these to your account, uh, but that way, you know, it knows which key tab is me, which one's my wife, etc. So that's essentially the unboxing and setup of this link style matrix smart lock key box. Works perfectly, and as I was able to demonstrate on 4G LTE with Wi-Fi off and with Bluetooth off, it works perfectly as long as 
this device and this device have power and your internet at your house has power and your phone from wherever you're at has internet access. You can go through, unlock it, make your new codes, etc. Perfect for your Airbnb. And so there you have it. That's a look at this Link Style Matrix Smart Lock Key Box. Two thumbs up from a software standpoint and even a hardware standpoint. The uh, little lock at the top, you can definitely add in to like hang it on a door if you want to. I would probably recommend if you're using this for your Airbnb to hard mount it to the wall. That way it just can't be taken or anything like that. It always be there. At the end of the day, this is the perfect device for an Airbnb. Your Airbnb is already going to have internet access. I'd recommend a battery backup. Have your internet and Wi-Fi on that battery backup and also have the uh, little gateway on that battery backup. And this will give you an alert whenever the batteries are running low in the lockbox, so you could easily change those if needed, or ask the maid service to change them if needed. But you'd be able to set up over 200 users, so that way you know who's coming in and out. And you can, of course, change that passcode every time somebody leaves, So or make it random, so that way you're not uh, using the same passcode all the time where that somebody could essentially come back and try to use your place for free in a way. So I'd highly recommend this if you have an Airbnb.